Okay, so earlier today, I made a video about the ARG, the alternate reality, augmented reality game that BSG has been putting out via this ARS terminal. So as it appears, there is a lot more going on than just the game keys that was being given away. Um, there were a couple of usernames toward the tail end that were found. One was Caesar that led us to one of them uh, game keys, and the other one was Warden that led us to some other game keys. Included in some of the files were other encrypted messages that people had yet to decode. However, some of them have now been decoded in this running thread called the Chronicles of Rigi uh, on the escape from Tarkov Reddit. Now in this were a couple of larger clues. The first one being this terminal maze that you can see here. If you log in under this thread, it showed us that the warden password using a wet 31 water base 32 encode or decode, I guess I should say, uh, brought us to this part here where you could get logged in as warden. Inside of this, if you did a directory search, there was this single file, nodefs.txt. If you opened this nodefs.txt, text file, it gave you these command strings. You had the instructions to decrypt this INF file using up, down, left, and right. This ended up being a text-based maze. Think of it mentally as if you started off in a certain point. If you wrote the word up, that means that the person in this point would move up one unit. If you said up again, it would move up another unit. And what it would tell you is true or false. You were able to move in one direction, yes, or you weren't able to move in that direction anymore because there was a wall in the way. So by using up, down, left, and write, you were able to move around this text-based maze that you would have to map in your mind. Now, this took people a while, but eventually what it came to be when you got to the end of the maze, when you were able to finally get through it all, you were given a set of GPS coordinates. Those coordinates were here. 33 degrees, 42 hours, 56.6 minutes north by 118 degrees, 19 hours, point, or 8.5 minutes west. This took you to an area outside of LA in San Pedro, California, located way out here by Royal Beach Park. Along with that was also this Google Drive with these four images being shown to us. One of this beach here, a larger view from up a hill it looks like, and then an image of this area with a rock and a little bush, and then the water bottle that you see here kind of stuffed in a hole underneath the rock or in the bush where this was, I guess, before they dug the hole or under this rock and then showing with the rock removed. What was in the bottle? Well, these three guys right here found the bottle. This guy in the center is a dude named Stingray that's a viewer on Twitch. He was the one that found the bottle first and ended up notifying Logical Solutions about it. The second is this guy, Wolf6 Actual, and this dude is Parish. Both of these guys are aspiring Twitch streamers and apparently ARG hunters. Well done, boys. Anyway, the letters. The letters are interesting, but uh, if you're looking for something that it's going to take you somewhere, so far, it doesn't look like much of anything. It says, from John C. Mitchell, who coincidentally is a professor of computer science at Stanford University, but I digress. From Rebecca, dear Johnny, I'm writing this to you. Uh, it goes on to say, I don't know when you're going to receive this letter. Uh, she also mentioned Sanitar. At 5.45 p.m., I finished my work, sent the report to the Norvinsk region, put the mass spectrometer drug data to process overnight, went to Mr. Thompson's office, her boss. And the way I thought it was interesting why the doctor in Tarkov calls himself a Sanitar, that's quite unusual. Mr. Thompson was very gloomy. He looked at his monitor in complete silence. We stood like that for 40 seconds, and he looked up at me and said, Rebecca, remember, we were doing research on the genomes of employees. I know that this says gnomes, but I'm assuming it means genomes. You have a very rare sequence and Terra Group's main lab wants you to visit them in person. So this could be taken one of two ways. Either the gene sequence that she had been working on was very interesting, or she herself has a very interesting gene sequence. Either way, uh, it goes on to read that she was picked up by someone from Terra Group or a group of people from Terra Group stuffed into a car and then without knowing where she was going, they put her on a cargo ship, told her that she was going to get a room on the cargo ship and and then she just hasn't. Um, she writes and says, I'm quite certain I was kidnapped and taken for no good at all, most likely. Terra Group decided to move on to human trials. Now, we know that Terra Group uh, experiments has been experimenting on humans. That's the whole reason why Tarkov is Tarkov right now. Uh, the entire contract wars lore that Tarkov is known for is because of that exact reason. Now, she goes on to say that she can't write more about the work. She doesn't want you to know too much about it. After all, this letter falls into the wrong hands.
hands, if it finds if it falls in the wrong hands, uh, they will find you, and you are the most valuable thing I have. I hope you read this, my little Johnny. Study well, listen to your grandmother, and do not miss your sports classes. You are a very capable and smart boy. I'm incredibly proud of you. Love, Rebecca. Now, a couple of interesting things. First is, uh, it seems like the trail goes cold here. Uh, we haven't been able to see any other, I guess, coding. Other than Rebecca in the intro, the start of the letter is spelled R-E-B-E-C-C-A, two C's, and in the love you section, the end of the letter where she signs off, it's spelled with two B's and one C instead. I think that was probably just a typo of whomever it was that wrote the letter, um, as opposed to it being some type of a clue. But who knows? Oh, there is one other thing. In the course of all of the Ars Terminal files that we've been able to find so far, there is one username that has still not gotten a password, and that is admin. The admin username crops up, and as of yet, we still don't have a password for that. Perhaps it's buried as a code somewhere in the letter, but at the moment, it doesn't look like there's much to go on. So if there is a password floating around somewhere, possibly none of us are smart enough to be able to find it just yet. And if not, perhaps BSG will end up giving us a clue. All in all, this is reading an awful lot like some Resident Evil-esque kind of stuff. I have no idea where this goes from here. Um, and if I'm being honest, all of the other lore that BSG has served us up with leading up to this point hasn't really done anything in the game. It's just kind of been a welcome distraction from the fact that BSG just hasn't gotten us any new content or major bug fixes or a working game, really. Um, it's super playable. It's really fun. Um, but the lore stuff has never really had a conclusion. It doesn't really seem like it's got any type of uh, seasonality to it. There's no episodic form of anything going on. We don't really get the, the payoff. There's no prestige, right? So I don't really know where to go from here with this, other than to say I would not hold my hopes up thinking that something's going to come of this. It could just literally be somebody deciding to do some storyboarding and it gives us something to chew on while they get streets ready, because that's, that's really all I see here. <laughs> So yeah. Anyway, guys, that's what I have for this one. Thanks so much for coming and checking me out. If you would be so kind, please consider subbing the channel here. If you uh, if you aren't already a sub, that would be cool. If you wouldn't mind, please also giving me a follow on my socials at OnePegMG on Twitter, at OnePeg on TikTok. And as always, please come and check me out on my Twitch streams at twitch.tv slash OnePeg. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.